the Furman University Library's Digital Collection Center provides free online access to a large assortment of cultural heritage materials, including photographs, manuscripts, books, postcards, and more. You may browse our list of digital collections by selecting Find on the top navigation bar, and then Digital Collections. Digital collections in this list that have a small red lock are collections that can be accessed fully on campus but require a firm and login and password off campus. Clicking on one of the collections will bring you into our digital collection software called ContentDM. From ContentDM, you can browse or search within a specific collection or search across all of our collections. To search the collection, enter a search term in the box above. Let's say that we're looking for portraits of Richard Furman, namesake of Furman University. Start the search by typing Richard Furman in the search box at the top of the page. Wow, we got 143 results. Let's try sorting these results chronologically. In the Sort By drop-down box, select Date Original Ascending, and it will sort from the earliest dates to the latest. As you can see, items without a date will appear first in the list. We can sort in reverse chronological order by selecting Date Original Descending from the Sort By drop-down box. Hmm, it looks like we're getting back a lot of results for Furman Hall. Let's refine the search a little. We can do that by clicking on the Advanced Search link underneath the search box. First, let's only search for the term Richard Furman in the title field. Now let's exclude any results that have the word Hall in the title. We do this by selecting Add Row to add another search term. Then we select Title, type Hall into the search box, and choose none of the words. We're telling the search to only find items where the name Richard Furman appears in the title, but the word Hall does not. Now let's run the search. Ah, that narrows things down quite a bit. Now let's say you want to limit the search even more. We can do so by clicking on one of these options on the left. We're going to limit the search to the subject portraits. Now we only have four results. Let's say we want to learn more about this color painting of Richard Furman. We'll click on it. This takes us to the complete record for the item. As you can see, there is lots of rich description in this record, including information about the painting, the time period that it reflects, and the subcollection that it belongs to. If we clicked on any one of these links, it would run a new search specifically looking for these terms. If we wanted to zoom in on this image, we can do so using the expand icon at the top right corner of the image. We can then zoom in or zoom out using the plus and minus signs in the top left of the screen. There are also options to download or to print over here on the right side of the image. If you have any additional questions, please contact the Furman University Digital Collection Center at digitalcollections at furman.edu.